Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. Today we are going to study about uh, another transducer uh, which is a potentiometer. So it is basically a resistive transducer. So of course it means that based on resistance. So uh, let's get started. So a potentiometer is basically a resistive transducer. It is also called as POT, uh, it's short form. Now the basic principle of the potentiometer is that it converts linear or rotatory motion into a suitable voltage signal. So basically it is used for uh, the measurement of linear displacement or angular displacement. So it converts linear or angular displacement or motion into electrical uh, voltage signal. So it operates on the principle of voltage division rule. So this uh, potentiometer transducer it operates on voltage division rule and it consists of a resistive element with a sliding contact and wiper. So before we uh, understand in detail how a potentiometer works, let us see uh, what are the types of potentiometer that are available. So a potentiometer is basically of two types, a linear potentiometer and a rotary potentiometer. Now the linear potentiometer, it is used in cases where there is linear displacement, there is linear motion, straight line motion and uh, rotary potentiometer is used in case uh, where uh, there is a rotational motion. So that is the basic difference between uh, the linear and uh, the rotatory potentiometer. So it is used for rotational motion and this is used for linear motion. So <clears throat> what are the properties of the potentiometer? Now the potentiometer is basically a passive transducer. Now what is a pass passive transducer? Now it is not self-generating. It requires an external energizing or voltage source. So of course it is operated with an AC or DC supply. Now the resistive element or uh, the material which provides resistance, it is uh, usually made of, of uh, platinum, nickel alloy or uh, with uh, cermet carbon or hot molded carbon. So basically these are the materials which the resistance wire or the resistive element is made off of. Now this uh, wire is wound over an insulated former called as the mandrel. So this is the resistive element which is made off of cermet or carbon or platinum or nickel alloy and this is wound over an insulated material or insulated core called as the mandrel. Now this is the shaft which is connected to the movable arm also called as wiper. Now this position of the wiper with respect to the resistive element controls the output resistance. So how much output resistance will uh, be there? It will be controlled by the motion or the position of this contact. So of, of course it operates on the voltage division rule, voltage division principle and the output voltage is taken across these two points by putting the voltage division formula. So basically it consists of an insulated former, insulated core called as mandrel and a resistive wire is wound over it and it is energized or excited with uh, AC or DC supply, in this case it is a DC supply. So it is a passive transducer. Now this shaft which is connected to the wiper is uh, free to move either to the left or the right. 
now this is usually connected to the agent whose displacement is to be measured or calculated the motion of the wiper controls how much output resistance there will be so if there is full range of motion it means that maximum output resistance will be there and if the position is uh, less it means low output resistance so basically the output voltage is taken from the point where the wiper is uh, at that instant by applying the voltage division rule now this is the circuit diagram of the potentiometer so as i said the resistive element it is connected across a dc supply and the position of the wiper determines how much of resistance will be there at the output terminal so if the wiper would have been here this would have been the output resistance so here in this case it is exactly at the middle so the resistance will be divided into half if it would have been here the resistance would have been more and the output <coughs> voltage would have taken from here so of course it, uh, the voltage division formula uh, will be applied here to calculate the output voltage v0 so now here the notation xt and xi denote the total distance or the total range of motion of the resistance or the position of the wiper and xi denotes the instantaneous position of the wiper uh, at that instant so depending upon the position of the wiper the output resistance will vary so the mathematical formula for the output voltage is given by the resistance at the output terminal by the resistance at the input terminal into the supply voltage it can be written as here the total resistance of the potentiometer wire into the instantaneous position of the wiper and the total distance of the resistive element divided by the resistance at the input terminal which is of course rp into the supply voltage v let's again see here here it is the instantaneous position of the wiper with respect to the resistive element which appears at the output xt is the total distance of or the total length of the resistive element depending upon the position of the wiper on the resistive element the output resistance varies the total resistance of the potentiometer arm is r subscript p so here the output resistance is equal to rp into xi by xt if the position of the wiper would have been at xt it means the output resistance would have been rp as xt by xt would have cancelled each other so in that case the output voltage would have been the supply voltage so, but here the output resistance is calculated as per the total resistance of the potentiometer into the instantaneous position of the wiper divided by the total length of the resistive element to calculate the output voltage so the sensitivity of the potentiometer which is uh, defined as the ratio between the output voltage and the input voltage is given by xi by xt because here r subscript p r subscript p which is the total resistance of the potentiometer they cancel each other out so if we take the supply voltage to the denominator on the left hand side we get the ratio between the output voltage and the input voltage as xi by xt which is the sensitivity of the potentiometer so again let's uh, have a quick look again so basically we are discussing here the linear potentiometer so it consists of a resistive element wound over an insulated former with a shaft connected to a movable arm called as the wiper now this 
whole connection it is free to move either to the left or right the motion of the wiper controls the amount of resistance which appears at the output now as the output resistance varies the voltage which is appears across the output terminals it also changes so this behaves as a resistive transducer which converts linear motion or linear displacement into a suitable output voltage signal so that is the basic principle of a linear potentiometer now make a note that this is applicable only for straight line motion not for rotational motion or angular motion for that rotational potentiometer rotary potentiometers are used which i will be posting in the upcoming videos so this is only applicable for linear potentiometer so uh, that's it for uh, the basic concept about uh, a linear potentiometer now please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical and electronics engineering and have a great day thank you